Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to discuss the truth about red meat. Now, before we start, I do know that this is a very controversial subject, and a lot of people are very passionate about you know animals being killed and that. But I want to talk about just about the health benefits uh, about actual red meat and really kind of dig deep in what the studies say. There's first of all, you have to realize that um, there are multiple studies that disagree with red meat being the source of cancer. Okay. However, the study called the Nurse Health Study, and I'll put the link down below, if you actually read it, states that uh, it increases your um, risk by 13% of, of dying of all illnesses or diseases. Okay, so it does increase your risk. So, uh, and they said you need to switch to chicken and whole grains, okay? But let's take a look at what kind of study they actually did to confirm that. First of all, it wasn't an experimental study, it was an ob observational study study based on a questionnaire that was given out every two years from 1980 to 2006. Now, I will guarantee there's, when you do a questionnaire for a study, it's not a controlled study. There are so many variables. You can't isolate uh, these variables, like other things that people ate, if they're a smoker or whatnot. So it leaves uh, the things up to a lot of biases and it's very, very weak. But here's the interesting thing. They always use the word risk. Okay, what does risk mean? Why don't they just say rate of getting cancer or dying? Well, because risk has a different term legally. It actually is more open. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean you have a 13% uh, rate of getting, of dying. So it's kind of a, a big variable there. Now, the other thing is they did not identify if it was grass-fed beef, was it processed beef, was it organic? Was it at McDonald's? They didn't measure that data. Okay, so the question is, what are the real statistics from studies on processed meat? Okay, processed red meat. You know, it's classified as a class one carcinogen uh, at the same level as smoking, right? So of course people are freaking out about it. Um, but take a look at like bowel cancer. They found that three more incidents of bowel cancer occur per 100,000 people. Okay, 100,000 cases. That's one in 33,000 cases. So they have three more incidents of bowel cancer. Well, cancer, I mean, smoking increases your chance by 20x, 20 times more. So that's like, you can't compare those two. It's not really a class one carcinogen. It's, um, now, what I want to talk about is I do not believe that there's any risk or any studies that show that consuming grass-fed quality beef will increase your risk of dying at all or any diseases, okay? Um, now, the, the benefit of red meat, and by the way, I consume a lot of red meat. I don't do a lot per sitting. I'll do a small amount, maybe three or four ounces, but I do. My body feels great on really good red meat. The kind of the red meat that I buy, I don't buy the 90% lean. I buy the 85% because that lean stuff, I just, it's harder to digest than when it has fat in it. So that's just a side note. But red meat has more absorbable vitamin D than milk, okay? It has more B12, B1, B2, B3, B6, B5. It has tons of absorbable iron. It has healthy collagen. It has a good amount of potassium, believe it or not. It has zinc, magnesium, copper, phosphates, and it's loaded with omega-3. In fact, it has five times more omega-3. Grass-fed beef has five times more omega-3 than grain-fed beef. And the problem with grain-fed is not only sometimes you involve hormones, but you involve um, um, the genetically modified GMO soy and corn in the feed. So that's another big problem. That they, they would, I would love for them to do a study on that. So... When you do research, uh, I think the problem with doing research is that you're going to actually try to first have a theory, and then you're going to come find s research to back it up, and that's how people approach it. They have this thing, this fixed idea in mind, and now I'm going to find research to back up my theory, and then so I can prove my theory, rather than do an evaluation on the data and see where it ends up. It's a better viewpoint. Okay, so that's my two cents on meat, and uh, thanks for watching. Put your comments below. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. 
please click the subscribe button and I will see you in the next video.